Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide taken from an end-stage kidney secondary to chronic pyelonephritis. This is the renal capsule and here is the renal cortex. We can see that the cortex is very much thinned. In fact, this scale only shows that this is about 1 millimeter, 0 0.9 millimeters. So you can see that this is barely 2 to 3 millimeters thick. So the cortex is thinned. And as we navigate, we see some very interesting rounded structures containing this very pink material. This area represents some renal tubules which are dilated and the lining cells are atrophic and flattened and they contain this eosinophilic proteinaceous material. This appearance is known as thyroidization of the renal tubules and it is named this because the tubules actually do closely resemble thyroid follicles. So thyroidization is a feature of end-stage kidney as it reflects atrophy of the renal tubules. If you look around these areas in the interstitium, you will also see a lot of chronic inflammatory cells and most of these are lymphocytes. And so interstitial chronic inflammation is another feature of end-stage kidney. And as we move around, we can see many of these sclerosed pink globular structures and these actually represent sclerosed glomeruli. So sclerosed glomeruli are also a feature of end-stage kidney. And in addition, as we move along, we can also see some abnormal looking vessels where there is thickening of the tunica media. It is not possible to ascertain what was the cause of end-stage kidney uh, because this is the common final pathway and the common histologic appearance of end-stage kidney due to a variety of etiologic factors. Let's have a look at another example. And here is another case of end-stage kidney, and this is due to hydronephrosis from distal obstruction. And we have, again, the sclerosed glomerular structures there, here, and also here, and here. And we have a lot of interstitial inflammation. Many of these are just lymphocytes or chronic inflammatory cells. And also in these areas, you can see that the tubules are quite small and atrophic. And also, if you notice, we have some areas which represent thyroidization as well. So we have similar findings in this end-stage kidney from chronic hydronephrosis. Hence, in summary, the features of end-stage kidney include sclerosis of the glomeruli, interstitial inflammation, atrophy and thyroidization of the tubules, and thinning and fibrosis of the renal cortex. Thank you.